point to something. This is right. This is that minimum. The main purpose of the homework is a full year package, not grading. Okay? What time is it? Uh, we have 15 minutes. Finally, what time is it? It's a uh, 2.30. Okay. Finally, we are in chapter 4 and 5. Okay? Any question? Okay. Since we have learned, we, the first reason is you are smart and genius, and we already covered the relation of algebra and operation and expression. I don't think it's very difficult to learn the sequel. It's just a straightforward, okay, as we have seen here. So, we are going to learn the sequel first. We should know the history of the sequel language. Okay. So SQL is called the structured query language. What is the opposite of the SQL language? Any program language, they are based on what? Procedure. Procedure, right. Procedure means it has the start and end. Okay? Then the program will be end the end procedure. In between, it will follow the data flow, logical flow, okay? You can use a if then else, loop, and something like that, and finally, you can get the end of unless you have interim. So, however, SQL is, there's no starting, there's no ending. It just fit to structure that we have discussed so far. What is that? Relational database structure. It fit. It's only for relational database model. It doesn't make sense actually. SQL can be object-oriented database. SQL will be multimedia data. SQL will be used for other. No. SQL is only for relational database model only. In other words, the relational the database management system use the SQL. However, because of the SQL is very popular. Even though you do not know about the SQL, you heard about the name of SQL. Many of the database languages just follow the name of SQL because of the popularity. Something SQL. For example, even I use that during my dissertation. My the PhD dissertation topic was I'd like to define database model for video database. Similar approach. So I adapt the idea of graph. So I'd like to use the graph to manage the big, the very large video database. At the time, even I proposed something query language. STRG query language to access my video databases. However, anyway, so SQL is used for such a database language. First, the relational DBMS was a system R project and IBM. Okay, after Dr. Yang code proposed this one, but unfortunately, it's not continued. Instead, some of the employees uh, quit the job from the IBM, then they make a commercial software as Oracle and Ingress. Okay. Then, even DB2 later realized this will be important to the day start the DB2 project. Okay. Then, finally, 1986, many of the research from industry and academia, university, professors who have been doing their research on relational model, they come together, get together, and decide the standard of the language. Okay. Like the design. We don't need the domain. We don't need the natural domain. We need the natural domain. Something like that. Then they make the standard, which is called SQL 1, the first ANSI standard. This is a revolutionary work in database and not computer science language. Think about the .NET. Even though the .NET framework and the Java, they are, they are 
syntax are not the same. Even though architecture are quite similar, they are not the same because it's totally different product. Right? So, however, SQL database, they make the first standard. If you want to build a relational database model, follow this standard. So, which means I'm very, uh, I'm expertise on the Oracle, but I never use the InfoMix DB2. That doesn't make sense. Okay? If I know how to use a rock with that, it's not a big deal. It's just a piece of tape to catch up other relational data with SQL Server. 80%, 80 to 9% are exactly the same. Because all of them follow the same standard. However, sometimes each DBM and each vendor put their own feature to differentiate from other. How? Also, such a feature, for example, Oracle proposed decode function. Long time ago. Decode is kind of if then else in query language. It was which was not standard, but everybody <coughs> crazy. It's a very good function that everybody used. Eventually, this kind of popular function will be standard later. So it has been improved up to a SQL query which was done 1999. So it, most of the function that you know that we are covering in this class and the, in the market is the SQL so Actually, SQL 2 is a major revision, so yeah, 6 to 70 percent is done. So pretty much this is, you know, SQL 3 includes some additional, so pretty much done. However, up to this point, it's a free standard, which means even I developed a relational database management system in the class one time. Do I need to pay? No, because it's a standard, open standard, like open source GNU product. So everybody can use it. As you probably know, the database management DBMS market uh, the distribution is who is the major vendor of the DBMS market? Oracle. As you know, Oracle actually uh, keep the half of the market. It's a huge market, but even that huge market, half of that for Oracle. The other <coughs> will be shared by the Microsoft and the, I think that's that, and the, the run out of battery. So DB2, the Informing SQL Server, something like that. But all of them are major vendors. So, they get together and make the new standard, which is not SQL 4, is that they announce this SQL standard is not free. Which means, if you want to release the new product, new DBMS system, IDBMS system, you need to pay to this organization. Why? The commercial vendor, yeah, it's kind of cartoon. They don't want to new the vendor that can keep the, their market. So, for example, MySQL is, actually MySQL right now is part of Oracle. Oracle even the project the open source. So, the new, you can find the thousands of the DBM relational database memory system. If they are free, probably it's up to SQL 3 standard, not 2003, because it's not free. That is a huge problem. I mentioned a couple of, several times. DBMS is still way behind of other computing architecture. The other programming and the operating system, everything, they are object oriented and something actually is developed, changed a lot. Except database. Database still use relational model, which is very, very strict the model. Okay? Very limited, not flexible. So they do not share. They don't want to share their pie. Okay? So not many researchers, even I do not research on DBMS system, instead at the video database. Nowadays I'm interested in the big data system, which is no SQL database. No SQL does not mean not SQL, it's not only SQL, but it can be flexible. So we are going to learn the SQL. There are two types of the SQL. One is DML, another one is DDL. First, 
DDF, data definition language C. Why DMS stands for data manipulation language, which means using data definition like we have designed of the database. Look three. How you need you need to build a building. So this is the tool to build a house based on your design. Okay? So data definition language can create a table, can create an index, can create any object. Okay? On the other hand, data manipulation language is manipulate the data in search of the deleting element and retrieve the data. So first we need to know how to create the table. This is the one common thing. So I try to know how to use a wrapper. So I download. I'm visiting the URA tech, something website, tech, tech URA, whatever. So download the four gigabyte size, the ISO, whatever. Download and install, sometimes fail, and install, fail, and install. So finally, I install the wrapper data. That thing I can do. Okay. So can I retrieve the data? No data after you install. You need to create the data. Okay? So how to create using data definition language. Before that, you need to have something schema. What does that mean schema? Schema is the description of your database, overview of your database, which means that you should have a land. Okay, of property to build the building. This is my property. This is my schema. So you should make the boundary of my database. You can create your own schema explicitly, but most of DBMS allow implicitly create the schema by username. Okay? So when you create a user like the J E L E then automatically create J-E-L-E -E scheme boundary, okay? So, you can create the schema, like the create schema, schema name, authorization by username, okay? But, if you do not create a such a schema, then create a table, which means automatically username will be used for schema name, okay? So, don't be confused. I never create a schema. It's okay. Your username will be used for schema. Then, we can create a table. It's a very simple. SQL is not case sensitive. It can be capital letter, it can be no letter, it doesn't matter. But mostly, we like to use the capital letter for reserve to work and the object name. So, it's a very similar as the natural language. For example, create table, table name, and parenthesis, and end with semicolon. That's it. Any SQL statement end with semicolon. Okay? What does that mean, semicolon? When can you see such a, it's a finish? Finish and semicolon. No, no means, from execute means, in the language, compile and run. Without compiling, computer cannot run. Especially, command line interface, or such a script style language, or such a uh, structured language, non procedural language, semicolon means interpreter. What does that mean? Operating system. How many of you are taking operating system? What is the interpreter? Interpreter generally mixes the world, evaluate their, their result, try to find if they are right or not, then execute them and the result. It's the same as compile. But just the simplify. So command by command. So this one indicates this syntax is done and interpret. In other words, compile and run it. Okay, so should end with, don't forget, in your uh, final exam or midterm exam. Then, parentheses, so we can specify list of column, list of attributes that you design. Separate by comma, and minimally, it requires name, attribute name, and data type. 
We never talk about the data type yet, except we plot domain. However, as I said, domain will not be used. It's very hard to implement. It's the data type. We will talk about the data type next plus, but we have the, such a data type. Plus, constraint. What is a constraint? Constraints are very important in modeling. We have learned about three constraints, major constraints. One is primary key, entity, intuitive, foreign key. Check is an additional type one. Primary key is a key constraint, entity constraint, and foreign key constraint. And check constraint is additional also some other. That constraint will do. None of this another constraint. You can put a, such a constraint for each color. Then finally you can create. We will see details uh, more next class. Any other questions? Okay, so you have, if you forgot to submit, 